guys, welcome to another video. This week I'm going to try a t-shirt transfer using sandpaper and some crayons. So I'll need a blank t-shirt. And underneath this I have a Teflon sheet. And I also have a piece of parchment paper that I'll put over top when I go to iron. So I'll need an iron as well. So getting started, I just want to start with the design on the sandpaper. My sandpaper is pretty small, so I'm actually going to use some heat tape to piece them together to make a bigger sheet. As far as making the design goes, you just draw on to the sandpaper with some crayons. And you want to make sure that you get a lot of coverage with the crayons. You don't want a light outline or a light shading to color it in. You want to make sure that you really press down on the crayon and get the wax onto the sandpaper. Alright, and with my design complete, I'm just going to cut off this piece of sandpaper. I might use it to add another piece to the design later. I want to make sure I have that. And this design is actually going to go on the back of my t-shirt. I'm just going to lay my t-shirt down here on the Teflon sheet so that I don't burn my desk. And I'm just going to go over the t-shirt a couple of times just to iron out the wrinkles first before I start to transfer the design. With the shirt wrinkle free, I'm just going to put the design face down onto the back of the t-shirt. And I'm going to put my piece of parchment paper over top of that. And while I'm ironing, I have the iron set to about a medium setting based on my iron and I'm applying a decent amount of pressure because I really want the wax to transfer to the t-shirt. I just went over it a couple of times, not any specific amount of time. I just felt like it had gotten warm enough with the iron that it must have transferred. And when I lifted the sandpaper, it appeared to have transferred pretty nicely. At this point in the design of the shirt, I just added a couple more things front and back using the same process. As far as washing this goes, I put it in the dryer after this for 20 minutes on low inside out and I threw it in the wash by itself inside out and obviously dried it again. The color did seem to stay pretty nicely and it came out with an interesting texture that I didn't really expect. Overall it was pretty cool. And that wraps up this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you Come back to check out the next one.